I'm Richard Bryant. I'm a professor in psychology who essentially studies psychological responses to trauma. In my field for the last 30 or 40 years, many of the policies and practices that go on around the world are not evidence-based. So really what we've tried to do over the last 20 or so years in my lab is we try to work out in a mechanistic way, looking in the laboratory, how do people work to stressful situations? How do they respond at a neural level, at a psychophysiological level, at a cognitive and emotional level? We try to pinpoint exactly what are the fundamental mechanisms. Once we've identified those, we think, well, how can we translate that to the real world? So we've done studies where we've built, done the building blocks in the laboratory, and now we're dealing with thousands of refugees on the Syrian border, for example. So it's very much from a laboratory to the big world stage, if you like, in trying to make sense and make meaning of those findings. Science matters a lot, and in my field I think highlights this more than anything. Mental health represents one of the biggest burdens of disease worldwide. We know that the vast majority of people don't get help, and the majority of those who do, the help they get is just so substandard. I mean, in terms of just decreasing the burden of disease, decreasing the suffering, we've got to have good fundamental science to understand how to make people more resilient. We've got to understand how we actually get our treatments working better. If we don't understand the mechanisms, we're not going to be able to make those treatments affordable on a large scale to millions of people. So in my field, if we don't get the science right and it's not targeted, um, there's serious, serious costs. It's an honour to be elected to the Academy and particularly I think being a psychologist, I think it's great that the Academy recognises psychological science as a science. You know, we, we, we often struggle with that reputation, but clearly what we do is very, very scientific. We use a lot of scientific methods and paradigms. So, you know, I think for that reason alone it's particularly pleasing.